Hello and welcome to Hops and Bros. Craft Beer 101. This week, alternative beer. No, wait, that's no. not right. No, that's not right. It's closed is though. It? Is it? Alt, 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 alt rock, alt, alt beer. beer. Well, that was a lame sketch, but yeah, I liked yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I liked so, it. We yeah, did it. <laughs> no. you know, completely improvised. All improv. We're <laughs> pros. Who knows? Uh, All right, so this week, very special uh, style of beer that was brought to us by Alexandre Guimont on Facebook reached us uh, and asked us, have you guys done health beer yet? Which is awesome. Uh, he actually sent us a private message. I love how a lot of people are finding different yeah. ways to tell us what they want to exactly. hear. Exactly. Uh, From YouTube to Twitter yeah. to Instagram. <laughs> uh, we love that you guys are reaching out to us and it's a pleasure for us to dig that up and search out like the various subjects that you guys are into. It, it makes our job easier and harder at the same time. Easier because we have more styles, harder because we have to plan out like when to put our stuff that we want to put in versus the stuff yeah. that you guys ask for. But Anyways. That's what we want. Yeah, exactly. That's what we want. Uh, enough talk about this. Yeah. Let's talk about alt beer. Alt beers. So, um, Max, can you start us off with the history behind the alt beer? Yes, I can, Chris. Yes, the, I can. Is it a pretty old history? <laughs> It is pretty old. So, uh, alt actually is derived from uh, the German word alt, which means old. Uh, so, old beer, in this case, it's old beer style. Uh, so, started off in Dusseldorf in uh, the motherland of beer. Fatherland? Motherland. Motherland. Fatherland. 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 Germany, fatherland. Russia, motherland. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so, in the fatherland, yes. which a lot of beer that we drink today, a lot of styles, come from Germany. Yep. Uh, they're very active in creating new styles of beer. Which brings us to lagers. So they're yep. the first ones who created the lager style, so bottom fermenting yeast. Yep. Uh, you're going to talk a little more about this, but anyways. Exactly. Uh, so what happened is in Dusseldorf, uh, they started using the older style of brewing beer. So basically using ale yeast. Yeah, but they were quite stubborn from what I've read. Yes, yeah, so they were quite stubborn. Okay. They, they had to, to develop a little bit. Uh, they wanted to kind of use the old style, but with new techniques-ish. Yeah. Anyways, the first time that the word was used was in Dusseldorf uh, by Brower Shoemaker. Uh, they're the first ones to coin uh, the term alt beer in you 1838. The name. I did. The name I, and the dates. What? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I didn't even look at my blow. notes. My I, I'm good. I'm I getting there. I don't even I'm have fancy there. bacteria <laughs> words to compensate for that knowledge. Holy shit. But as you can see, it was Go tough. On, yes. Anyways, uh, so he's the first one to use the term alt beer. And now, uh, in Dusseldorf, the common beer that you get there is alt beer, uh, and you have to ask for something else if you want something else. Now, if there's something else, if there's whatever, something else, yeah. yeah, which you might have, you might not have. Uh, it's just very much ingrained in their beer style for the region over there. Uh, now, not a lot of history behind it; it's mostly just the terminology of what it's called. Yeah. But uh, why is it called that, Chris? Um, basically, alt beer. You said it's an old. Brewing style brewing that style used to be old. used before they started lagering. Exactly, and it's kind of like the compensation from the uh, classic British ales from the German side of things. Okay. So it's a hybrid way to brew beer. So they're blending the lager fermentation process with the ale production process. So it's not that complicated, but basically the alt beer yeast is really specific and it's a really aggressive one and only performs at colder temperature than the ale yeast does. But it's still a top fermenting uh, yeast. Exactly. So it's still technically an ale yeast. It's still technically an, an ale yeast, but it performs at colder temperatures and on a longer period. So as the same way as a lager does. So we, we've done videos on lagers, we've done video, videos on ale, and we did talk about the concept of hybrid. Yeah. All beer is exactly that. It's a hybrid between ales and lagers. Exactly, and it's malt forward beer. So the malts are there, it's the superstar of it, but there's no fruitiness compared to the British L's. I guess because it's it's laggard, so it's, it, it gets exactly. a little crisper, a little cleaner. A lot so crisper, you use a, a little bit of cleaner. the esters. And also at the same time, uh, you gain um, all the nice spicy flavors from the noble hops in those beers. We're still talking about a noble hop beer here. Nice. So sauce hop is a really big hop in this beer. Also Alerto too. So yes, there's plenty, they, there can be a lot of bitterness in those beers, mm. but it's always blended with the maltiness of the beer. Not fruity, uh, not sweet, not sweet, <laughs> malty. That's like, we're yeah, kind of yeah. on the same uh, page on this one. So it's not like the hoppy and bitterness we, we were talking about. So it's malty, not sweet. Yeah. So you get those nice nutty flavor, toastiness, bread, 
Uh, it's super crisp, it's easy, it's coarse quenching at the same time, and it always pours with a nice copper color. Even sometimes it tends to go to brown. A little bit like, uh, so I'm gonna talk about Kolsch's for a sec. So Kolsch's mm. are a very similar way of brewing these beers. In fact, for a while, it was the exact same thing. Until Dusseldorf, until in Dusseldorf, they decided to change uh, things a little bit, and instead of using the Pilsner malts and yep. the, the the lighter malts, they started using darker malts because yep. it, it got easier to use darker malts. Exactly. So you're gonna have a similar process, but completely different taste at this point. Yep. Exactly. Two completely different beers. Yeah. And if you want to get your hands on a proper alt beer and want to try it out, and you're uh, in Canada or or, uh, or Quebec, oh, I was gonna say Ontario or Ontario, Quebec. yeah, yeah. But and if you're in Canada. Or if you're Ontario, Quebec, we, which is we, easier to we, get. We had kind of like a little challenge to find one, but yeah. we were suggested from Vruden the Alt beer, which is a Vruden brewing from uh, the classic German traditions here in Quebec. Here, like, yeah, yeah, in the Canada. region. So yeah, in the region. Uh, Vruden, so. we've talked in the past. One of my favorite. At first, I, I was a little bit yeah. on the fence because they really use the German ways of brewing beer, German, <laughs> German equipment, all that stuff. And mm. also German products. Yeah. So for me, I was like, well, you're not helping the local economy. But then, really thought about it, and it's it's the best way to get a German style beer here. Yeah. As true to the style as you can. Be. And it's super fresh at the same time, so you can't even complain. They brew L's. They we had a Berliner wine from these guys, yeah. and the all beer seriously really good. It's, and it's from really, what really I've really read delicious. from the BGCP uh, norms, it's exactly on point. That's what an alt beer alt beer should taste like. So easy drinking, 5%, it's copper, you have that nice brown color, nutty, a little bit of, uh, at the same time, toasty flavors to it. And it's, basically, you can have that nice dryness that you get from a lager at the same time because of the hybrid, uh, I don't have the right The particularity. Exactly. But, yes. so awesome beer. Uh, definitely try it out if you have a chance to. Exactly. And we hope that answered your questions. You're probably not yeah. going to pass a test by listening to us, but you no. will know a little more and you'll be able to impress your friends. And you'll go to sleep with a bigger brain. Indeed. Maybe, Indeed. maybe more a bigger ego. That's what we have. So. Yeah, exactly. Ego kind of goes up and up and up. And if you want to do like Alexon and suggest a style to us, uh, you can reach us on Facebook, Instagram, even YouTube comments world works as well so just follow us share it with your friends and we'll see you in the next video guys cheers cheers